Residents of Adai in the Greater Accra region have in recent times held a series of demonstrations against Electrochem Ghana Limited, the company mining salt in the Sogo Lagoon. The residents say the agreement signed between the company and the traditional council was not in the best interest of Adai. The resident insists the Songo Lagoon remains one of their sources of livelihood and will resist any attempt to sell it out. At a meeting with President Akufada at the Jubilee House, the Adan Traditional Council, led by Man Carlo of the Adan Traditional Area, Nene Agude Obichire, says government must help address the challenges confronting the smooth operation of the company. Some indigents have illegally sold portions of the concession to some individuals and groups. And they have refused to vacate these areas to allow Electrochem to operate. It has become a hindrance to the progress of work in the concession as the parties who gave out the concessions and their grantees have become a serious threat to Electrochem's operation. And some indigents have also apportioned part of the concession to themselves and I engaged in legal salt mining activities, what we call achinyako. What is troubling about the illegal operators is that they create their pants in the base of the lagoon, causing havoc to the lagoon and its biodiversity. There are instances where some of the operators and their affiliates have threatened and attacked security personnel who come to perform their normal duties. Your Excellency, one serious challenge is the influence of national politics. Some people do not feel safe that Electrochem is leading this charge of creating wealth in Adan, developing the lagoon for us. And they are using all manner of tricks to divide us. President Akufado on his part urged the chiefs and people of Ada to accept the operations of Electrochem, which he says will help bring massive development to Ada. The project is a major project, not just for Ada, but for Ghana as a whole. And if it's fully developed, as it is in the process of being, it has the potential to make a major contribution to the economic development of our country. We're told that next door to us in Nigeria, there is a demand for a million tons of salt every year, which is satisfied by Brazilian exporters. Whereas a day sailing from Apapa are the deposits in Adan. So if we now have investors in the area that are serious about bringing this wealth out. It is the responsibility of all of us, especially with you in the vanguard, to give maximum support 